Hello everyone! Welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream. I'm Callie, here tonight with my friend Caleb. Hello! <laughs> and tonight we are going to be playing Cthulhu Wars Duel <laughs> by Peterson Games. But before we get into all of that, I'd just like to share that we have a couple of giveaways going on the website unfilteredgamer.com. Definitely check those out. We are giving away Trekking the World. And you just go on the website, look at the giveaway page, and you can uh, just enter however you want to enter. There's multiple ways. So definitely check those out on unfilteredgamer.com. We'll have the links for you in the comments. And say hi. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to see who's joining us and who you think is going to win tonight. <laughs> Callie playing the Black Goat or Caleb playing Great, the great Cthulhu. Yep. <laughs> And Michael's going to help explain how to play in just a minute here, and we'll get started with that. So, Cthulhu Wars Duel by Peterson's G Games is a two-player game for ages 8 and up. takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play, and we are different uh, old god factions competing against each other to gather as much doom and or complete an, an annihilation ritual <laughs> before the other one does. So, uh, this game, Cthulhu Wars Duel, is kind of a precursor to the original Cthulhu Wars. Cthulhu Wars is a miniatures battle game, and it is played with a number of players and a number of old gods. And instead of standees, it's going to be using large, thick miniatures, plastic miniatures. But this is kind of the reduced version of the game that plays two players. It's a head-to-head -head duel. It's cost-effective as well, which means you're not going to be spending a whole lot of money on having to pay for all the big minis and whatnot, which kind are beautiful and nice. But More of an introduction to the world and the gameplay, right? Yes. And right now we have Cthulhu Wars Duel here, but we also have Cthulhu Wars Extinction that Callie can grab over there in the corner. And that game is going to come with the Wind Walker and the Sleeper. And if this goes well, I imagine that they're going to create even more Cthulhu Wars duels. All the games are interchangeable. The boards, the characters, uh, pretty much anything you like to do. You can choose any of the characters they have available for the duel games. And have any of the boards that uh, work with those characters as well. Uh, Caleb is going to be starting over there in Jersey. And that's the little river over there. And then Callie is starting over in Salem. Callie is playing the Black Goat. And Caleb is playing as Great Cthulhu. Or, um, well, do you know any, any other ones? Any other names for Cthulhu? No. I believe it's the Great Dreamer as well. <laughs> I'm sure people in the comments probably know better than I do. But regardless, this game is all about spending points for our power for actions, using those actions to defeat your opponent's creatures, their monsters, their great old ones, and of course, controlling and devouring their cultists. We'll get started with a top-down menu uh, right now. Okay, Caleb's turn first. So Caleb is going to, he's already decided he's going to move some of his acolytes. Uh, how many more do you want to move? Um... I can help you if it's too far. So I'm guessing this is still considered a part of this, it right? Is, but you can't move there because you may only move one unit each unit what? once per. So this guy's unit. already moved one, so you can't move him again. You can move any of the rest of the units that you have on Jersey Three. Yep. Yeah, so here. Right. Here's so I can move, move this over here then. No, it's no, not, it's not oh, connected. Okay. So. This is here, here, or here. Or. Or over here. Okay, I'll spend to move here and here, and okay. that's two. So that's five. three, a total of three. Yeah, you're five. Great. Yes. Okay, and now my turn. I'm going to move one acolyte up to Arkham, one down. To Martin's Cove. Um, I guess I'm not going there. I'll move one up here to Mr. Tonic River. Okay, that's three as well. I'm down at five. When um, are your acolytes considered units as well, Michael? Yes. Okay, so I have units in four areas. That's one of my uh, spell book sort of objectives that I'm going after. So I can choose to play one of my spellbook cards in that location and gain that ability. So this ability, Frenzy, ongoing, 
Your cultists now have one combat. They can still be captured. And my cultists now, instead of zero combat, they have one combat. And that's it. I'm at five power now. Caleb's turn. So on your turn, you can do things, move units, summon units, um, create a gate, battle, all sorts of things. You can't, currently, you cannot battle, though. Because, because we're not in the not same have, area. Exactly. Yep. But I can create a gate. Absolutely. What a great choice. <laughs> so create a gate. It's going to cost you how much? Minus three power. Okay. Four, one, two, three. So that would mean I'm down to two. And I can create a gate Where you have right an here. acolyte. Yeah. No, so you don't have an acolyte there. You need to have an acolyte in the location where you create the gate. So like over here then? Anywhere. Yeah. These are sorcerers, and sorcerers make gates. They don't, oh. the gates don't just pop out of nowhere. Your guys are like worshiping Cthulhu, mm -hmm. and they're trying to summon him. And so they're utilizing their powers to create gates in the world. So you can place it in any of these three areas, but not here because you already have a gate. Right. There's no wrong answer, honestly. Great. And then you can place that for free. You can always take these on and off at any point in time if you want. Now, always best to keep one on if you can. All right, your turn. All right, I will also spend three power <laughs> to create a gate here at Arkham, and I will add my acolyte onto the gate. And the reason why you want to do that is because at the end of the round here, you're going to gain power on your board here equal to your cultists and your gates and unoccupied gates. So more gates equals more power. It's now your turn, Caleb, and you have two points left. You could choose to A, summon a deep one, or Shoggoth, and you could also choose to move units. Um, I think those are the main things you'd like to do. Uh, try and look and see what you need to do as well on your objectives to determine how you're going to be able to uh, put those spell books on top and give yourself even more abilities. So when does the doom phase happen? After this. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's, After there's going power. to be actions, and then you're going to gather power, and then the doom phase will happen. Okay. Maybe you should summon a unit to protect your gate. Yeah. Go ahead and summon a Shoggoth. Spend two power and summon Shoggoth. The symbol on your board will dictate which character. Yep, right there. It's the one. And you can put it on any space that has a gate. Oh, uh, yeah, that's your own. Yep, correct. Perfect. A Shoggoth has the spellbook ability of absorb so when you get that ability on your board you can use that but otherwise it's a two combat unit for two cost caleb's out of power now callie so okay. if you don't use yours you're going yeah. to end up losing it i'm going to summon as well i have two left um so i can as yeah. long as you meet the requirements of an objective you can use it okay um, when you summon monsters, you can summon multiple monsters of one or more types from one or several gates. You may still only recruit a single cultist and recruit action. So I'm going to spend two to actually bring out two ghouls, which I guess are these ones. Yeah. Yes. And, and you're limited to your supply. Yes. But I could put one here and one here because of my ability. And they'll protect your cultists from being eaten. Yes. Okay, and you're out of actions? Correct. So you're going to move on to the gather power phase, which is very, very simple. How many cultists do you have? Give yourself one point for each one. And they have to be on the board here. Yep, I have six. Caleb's also got six. How many control gates? Two. Yep, so you're going to give yourself two power for each one. So that's six, eight, and ten points total for both of you guys. Oh, you guys, oh, you, sorry, she has two, you only have one. And then... Uh, wait, no, he has two gates. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Sorry, you do. You have, you have two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't see that one. And then you're also going to get power for abandoned gates. There are none. And finally, any special abilities, nope. which I believe neither of you have. Mm -mm. All right. Determine who the first player is. The player with the most power becomes first player. And I believe in this case, since you're both tied, you will stay. So Caleb, yes. Yeah. Caleb, okay. yes. Now the doom phase. So during the doom phase, you're going to have the option, if you would like to spend power to move the Ritual of Annihilation. 
Uh, you're gonna start with spending five, then six, then sevens, eights, nines, tens, and finally instant death after the tenth one has been triggered. Um, so this one here is gonna cost you five power uh, to move it over here. And what you get is you're, you're gonna you're going to get points, uh, doom equal to the number of control gates that you control, mm -hmm. and then you'll get one elder sign per faction great old one. Neither of you have one though. You get one ritual per phase and per player. So you can choose to gain points if you'd like, or you can simply keep your power for the next round. What do you want to do? If you spend, you'll have less power, though, for the next round to summon units and move around, etc., etc. No, I'll do it to get points. So the first thing happens is receive a spell book in the first Doom phase, and you're going to get an Elder Sign. So Cthulhu's going to get one of these guys, and you're also going to get one of these as well. You don't, and it won't cost you, a, you don't have to pay in order to get that spell book. So and it can be any one I want to put there? That's correct. And so you paid five, so you will move to the ritual track to six. And you're going to gain two points because you control two gates. Two doom. Mm -hmm. Callie, do you want to spend six to get two doom as well? No. No. Saving your power up. Okay. Once Caleb selects one of his spell books and places it down on his board, then you'll move on to um, the action phase again. So I'll go ahead and select one of those if you'd like. Mm -hmm. the, new, the first player places new dark towers. I'm not sure what that is, actually. Oh, that's because it's a different, this is a different game. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have the... So, you selected one, Caleb? Yes. Great. Right. You move on to the action phase now. And once again, choose to enact actions. So I can place another gate for, it was three? That's mm -hmm. correct. And you can even look, it tells you right over here. So yes, three will get you a gate. Where do you want it? Over here. Okay. Land up. Remember, though, that this connects to this, mm -hmm. which also is connected to Callie. So if she wants, she can move her units here, and she's technically in the same space you are in. Okay? Okay. I'm going to... Da, 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 da. Create a gate as well. Power absorbers. <laughs> right up right. Mr. Tonic, Tonic River. River and put my acolyte on there. And I'm at seven power. Okay. Um, Welcome, Gary. I figured you'd show up for a Cthulhu oh, Wars of game. <laughs> I'm going to spend two to summon a monster to protect that gate over there. Mm hmm. Um, Terry as well, mm -hmm. nice seeing you. And that's it for my power. Alex, Max, all you guys. Okay, I'm going to summon some fun guy. <laughs> some fun guys? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, because of my ability, I can summon multiple of them. They cost two each to summon. So... I'm going to summon two. And I'll put one here. And one. It has to be on a gate. Oh, on the gate. Yeah. Uh, Your cultists power up the gates. The gates mm -hmm. summon the monsters. So, oh, I could put it up here. Sure. Okay. And your gates have their cultists which are now being protected by monsters so mm -hmm. they can't be eaten up okay it's caleb's turn caleb has no power yep. so caleb is going to actually push this tracker here the decay tracker up one space mm -hmm. so now it is callie's turn again but her action is going to cost one more power so is that per for the movement is that per unit move now cost no, one no, more no, power it's just, one overall. it's just one overall okay so with three i can move two units that's correct okay i'm gonna do that I'll move this guy's. They're technically already here. They are. So he can move here. He can. Okay. This one. 
Ooh, the aggressive plays. Yep, come up here. Wow. Okay. All right. And I share an area with an enemy so I can get a spell book. Correct. And now you both have zero. So what's going to happen is this, this the K tracker will go back. Uh, then you're going to move on to gathering power. Points for each cultist, for each controlled gate, any cultists that were captured, and special abilities. So go ahead and give yourselves your power. If you haven't lost any cultists, you have six. So you can go ahead and give yourself six points. And then it's two for each controlled gate. And in this case for Caleb, you have three. So that's going to give you six more points, putting you at 12. And I believe that's the same for Callie as well. She also yeah. has three gates and six cultists, putting her at 12. Then we determine the first player. It's still a tie. And I believe that we're just going to keep going on with Caleb. And, uh, and I'll go ahead and check to make sure that's correct. But now Caleb is going to decide if he wants to push the ritual again. Now you're going to lose mm -hmm. valuable resources though when you do that. And she is now uh, aggressively mm -hmm. coming after you. So mm -hmm. I would be careful about that. <laughs> would you like to spend for the ritual? So what does the what is the ritual? It's going to give you one point for each controlled gate you have, and it will give you one elder sign, one of these guys here, if you happen to have your elder god out. So might not be worth it till we get these guys out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Okay. You just pass. It's either yeah. you spend or pass. Like there's only two options. <laughs> oh. Pass. Yeah, you spend for the ritual or you pass. You'll have to spend six points to get three doom, or you can pass and use that power during your actions. Pass. Callie? Pass. Then you move on to, once again, the action phase. And, Caleb, once again, you start. Okay. <clears throat> so this, this unit over here is compromised then. Um, not until I do combat, right? So right now, she is in your area, mm -hmm. but she hasn't done anything. However, she's gonna, she might try and attack you next turn. If that's the mm -hmm. case, she'll roll her attack die versus your attack die, and then you'll see what happens. Um, you could try and fortify a location that currently doesn't have a unit. Um, you can move a unit to protect a unit. So... Where does this connect to? Over it, does it connect over here anywhere? No. The rock port, the island. Yeah. The island doesn't no. connect anywhere. Okay. The, the island, anything adjacent to you, it. You would look at the edge, and the icons are connected. So it connects to all the the reefs, reservoir, the cove. But right now you have no way of getting a monster there to protect you because uh, you don't have a gate there. So the only thing I can see you doing, really, is putting another monster over here to protect it. Because it's on her next turn, she's probably going to attack you. So I could spend three to summon this? Uh, yes. Yeah, you could do that. And you place it on a gate. You want to put it on a space where she's, where she's attacking you? Kind of defend yourself right here? Mm -hmm. All right, Callie. All right. How much combat does that guy have? What, the Two? Acolyte? No, the... The Star okay. Spawn. The <laughs> Star Spawn has a total of three, Ooh. and her Shogoth has two. So she's got a total, he's got a total of five combat right there. Yeah. It's cumulative. Uh-huh. I only got one. All right. So remember, if you want to, you can either A, attack in this location here and spend an action, or yeah. over here. Yeah, I can catch If you it. attack this, though, um, it's got zero combat, so you'll roll dice and see what happens. Or you can simply make your life easy and catch suck it up. It. Yeah, exactly. I think that's what I'm going to do, but I do have units in six areas, so I can put down another thing here. Um, that one. And I think, yeah, I'm just going to capture this acolyte here. Yeah. I'll go over to my area. You capture it, and you gain doom equal to its cost. I'm on the doom board. Yay. <laughs> okay, so that was her action. That was uh, one yep. power. Now, Caleb, you have the option. You can attack her if you want. Mm-hmm. Or you can try and summon, maybe you'd want to summon a guy here. I don't know. It's up to you. So, 
Summon another monster. You can summon a monster on this side, or you can attack her one monster with the two that you have on Loblolly Cove. So there's one monster here that's hers. Here's a little island over here, and then you've got this reef here that's just got your acolytes. So it's either you want to protect your acolytes a little more in case of future attacks, or you want to just get rid of the monster that she placed there. Uh, you definitely want to kill and or devour a unit in battle. So I would suggest you fight. Mm -hmm. That's the best move, I think. Mm -hmm. You want to get rid of that unit there. <laughs> okay, I'll attack. Spend a point. Take your die equal to your battle power, which is three and two, because you have a star spawn and a shogoth. Three and two. Take all five dice. And Callie's going to take her battle dice. Which is two. one. Oh, it was just one? Yeah, my fungi. Oh, fun guy. Okay, you're going to roll dice. Okay, so we have a bunch of fives and fours. Mm -hmm. and so she, she's going to take these. These are of a threat. He's being threatened. And you've got your guy. She rolled a five. He's threatening. So you can move one of these guys into an adjacent space that doesn't have one of her characters. I would suggest you take one of them and just move it over here. Mm-hmm. And then she's going to have to move one of her guys to a location that's adjacent, that's not occupied with one of your guys. So this, we're on this space, Yes, right? you are. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay, that was the battle. If you were to roll a six, you would have done damage yeah. to her. <laughs> and now my turn. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to... Well, they're called pain, not threat. Pain, okay. I'm going to spend eight. And... Wait, do I want to? Oh, I need to. Mm. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I'm bringing out the black goat, and I must have uh, a control gate at, and at least two cultists on the map. Uh, can be in any areas. I pay my eight power. I have to remove two cultists and then place this guy. Summon at the, the black goat. Gate. Yes. Um, and his combat is equal to the sum of my control gates and in-play cultists. Ooh. Yes. And I awaken him. So it's... Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's do that one. So we'll do... And it's also... Um, Da, 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 da. Add another plus one for each dark young you have in play. So I don't have any yet. But I will. Go ahead. Now, can you summon Cthulhu? I have to have 10 power. Oh, you have to. <laughs> okay. Mine's a little bit cheaper. I had to play, pay Cultus as well. Um, <laughs> can I attack her, her monster over there? If you're on the same location, you may. Oh. So if I'm in America and you're in Canada, I can't really hurt you. <laughs> so you got to go to where I am. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. So you can summon, you can move, you can create um, a gate if you had a character in a space with no gate. What's your action there? The submerge. Ah, oh, that lets uh, Cthulhu submerge. Yeah. Which you need Cthulhu in order to do that. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to do? Pretty much either moving or spawning right now. Got to summon Cthulhu next round, I think. Oh, did you get yourself a point for the captured cultist, by the way, Callie? Or was that uh, this, this is I this thought round? that happened. This is this round, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. That happened during the Doom phase. Yes, it will. Okay. What do you want to do, Caleb? Looking pretty scary there on the board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I move. 
Like I said, your options are pretty limited. Mm -hmm. You move, or you summon a monster. You can't summon a cultist because you don't have any. You can't make a gate because there's no location where you have a cultist with no gate. So the question is, do you want to go on to Callie's space and attack her? Or do you want to move to another area? Or do you want to create another monster? Create another monster. Okay, spend the cost. So, and then take a monster and place it on the space for the gate. Like this? Yeah. All right, Callie, you're up. Okay. How much power do you get? Five. Five, okay. I'm going to... Uh, hmm... I'm going to summon one more gate, I think. So three, I'll do it over here. All right, you had power? Yes, that's all right. correct. Caleb, you're up. Next turn, all your actions are gonna cost one more, mm -hmm. and then two more. So can I attack that now? No, because you're not on the space. <laughs> so as you can see, like I said- You have to be on look, the Look at where you're space. at, this is an island. There's water separating you, so you cannot shoot laser beams. You have to actually physically get there. So in order to do that, you'll have to move a space, and then you have to move another space, and then you can then attack. You can, you can move one of these guys in there, or uh, this guy over here in there, mm -hmm. if you would like. Uh, but, and then on your next turn, you can attack, because she has no power, so she has no responses to what you do now. Mm -hmm. You can even move your characters into here, if you want, and try and destroy this area. That's probably what I would suggest. But she has this over here. It doesn't matter. It's not I that area. I can't move it yet. She has no power. Not until the next round. Okay, fine. So you can go one. You can move both of them if you wanted to. B, this too. If you want, if you wanted to, you don't have to. But she can't get to this space except by here. But she can't go here. She can't get to you by here because it's blocked by water. So she have to move at least mm. one more space to get there. So you have an opportunity to make sure that she dies. This means two characters means more dice. And it'll cost you two points for two movement. Boop, boop. Now okay. Callie's going to get a turn. She's just going to move the decay tracker. And then it's back to your turn. Or, yeah, there. Yeah. And you can go ahead and spend one. But in this case, you have to spend two. Exactly. And you can attack. And you're going to take all five of your dice. You get three and two again. And Callie's going to get one. one. Yeah. Okay, now <laughs> you just hope she doesn't roll a six and you don't roll a six. That's the only bad scenario here. Wait, I should not roll one. a six? No, you want to. You want. Oh. We both want sixes. No. <laughs> okay, so you roll a five and a four. So you're going to threaten two of her characters here. Okay, I rolled a five. So she'll threaten one of yours. So you choose which character do you want threatened, Caleb? Or, I don't know, whatever, the pain. Which one do you pain. want to have pain? It's going to move one space away. Uh... You can just put one right back. Yeah. Okay, now Callie has to do the same. She has to move two characters to two adjacent spaces that do not have one of your units. So I have to move them. my acolyte yep. as well. So Aww. what you just did there is pretty cool. Yeah. You opened this gate up, so now you're going to get points for it. And she's going to lose out on those two points she would have gotten. And now you have secured it with a monster for now. And now it'll be her turn, and she'll move this to two. And then... It'll be your turn, but you have no power to spend because it'll cost you three for anything you want to use. So this will go back, and then you're going to gain power equal to uh, the phases of play, the gather power phase. All right. I have four cultists and three gates. And you and have one unit that you sucked up, so that's plus one more point. One more power as one well? One more power, yeah. Okay. Not, not as well, but in, you know, I guess as well, yes, technically. Caleb, you have five cultists. Now, you're also going to get a plus one for this non-controlled gate, Callie. Oh, I get it. Everybody I does. Got Everybody it. Okay, does. Okay, okay. So, so you get five points for having five cultists. How many gates do you have? Three. Three. Plus two, four, six more. I'm putting you at 11. Then you're going to get plus one point for this non-controlled gate. Everyone does. Okay. And then uh, she gives you your, your unit back. So you have that cultist you can bring back when you Available. want. Available. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then we're going to go to the determining first player, which in this case I think is Callie now. I have 12. You both have 12 still. Yeah. 
He'll have to hand me the rule book to make sure he doesn't have to. He, he does we don't keep, have to switch it going off. first. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I imagine it, that's what happens. But, yeah. Um, well, you both have 12. Yep. Okay, so um, then we'll start with <clears throat> the ritual of annihilation. Uh, you, w- you would gain three points if you spent six, Caleb. Well, then I can't summon Cthulhu. Correct. Mm-hmm. So, probably not. Then. Pass. <laughs> Six points, Callie. You're going to get, you will get one of these, which mm-hmm. is victory points, and you mm-hmm. will get three additional doom. Wait, not four? Oh, well, you have four gates? I have the old guy. You will get three oh, points, point. plus okay. you will get one of these, which is okay. a random amount of points. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll spend six. your six. This will move to seven now. Yeah. Then you're going to gain three do. Go ahead, you can do it. Well. Two, three, four. Two. Yeah. No. Sorry. Yeah. I okay. One. That's, yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Upside that down. Weird. <laughs> and you take one of these guys. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to move on to the action phase. Okay. So there must be a gate in Great Cthulhu's starting area. Okay, this is the starting area, right? Uh, yes, you'll be okay. put in there. Uh, so not only is he the first player, if uh, th- that would be normally the rule, but he can actually choose. That's the power. If you were, if you're tied and he was previously first, he chooses what you was first. Okay, so I'm spending ten to awaken Cthulhu. Okay. So that would bring me down to now two. Now, the rule is there must be a gate there, which there is. And if it's the first time, it'll cost you 10 power. You'll start in the starting area. You're going to gain an Elder Sign. And then at the beginning of any combat with Cthulhu, you just simply eat one character. Pretty powerful. Uh, and because you summon Cthulhu, you get to take a card. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, is it black screen again? Go ahead, you are. Okay. Oh, I forgot my cultists have a combat. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead, Caleb. Take a turn. Oh, I thought it was still Caleb's turn. He summoned Cthulhu. Okay. Uh, I'm going to rook. I need to rook. Oh, I have one card. Okay, I'm going to move my units. I'm going to move the black goat. I'll be one here. And which guy's the best? Yeah. Both of these. Two, three. Okay. There we go. Moving them into the cove there. Yeah, you're probably right, Jason. Okay, uh, do you select a spell book, Caleb? Um, They're all good options. Okay, so this is another action you can choose to do. It's going to cost you two, and it says you can choose an area containing an enemy's uh, occultist, and your enemy must eliminate one of his or her occult cultists from that area and replace it with one from your pool. So, eats one of yours and puts down one of his. Mm -hmm. So it's your turn, and you can actually use that dreams if you'd like. Cost two. Yeah, and it says choose an area containing an enemy's acolyte cultist so you could choose for instance yes yeah you could choose this area for for instance um and you can remove hers and put one of yours in that area for two if you wanted you're going to gain one point you place that guy there but yeah. you're out of energy now. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, wow, Callie is almost out, too. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to 
battle. Okay, so you have, what's the battle look like? Okay, you have this guy and this guy? Yes. Versus Caleb's? <laughs> yes. So you have a star spawn, Caleb, that's going to give you three. And then Callie, you've got a lot. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it's seven for my um, black goat. And then one for my acolyte. And one for the fungi. Your acolyte has power? Yeah, that's what I forgot that one of my um, spellbook abilities. Okay. A six. Two sixes. Okay, so what I happens is uh, he's played, he has a six, so yeah. you're going to choose one of yours to die, and you got a six, so his mm -hmm. is just going to die. When yours yeah. dies, Caleb, how much did it cost? Three. <laughs> so she gains three points. Callie, uh, how much did yours cost? This guy? One. Be or he costs two normally, but I have the spell book, so he costs one. Uh... You're, it's it's based on the cost of the unit, I believe. Okay, so the cost is one. No, the the, ma the base cost. The base cost yes. two. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't also subtract uh, I points. I don't know. From <laughs> okay. Uh, it just says the cost is yep, one. Yep. The combat is over. You got the area again, and Caleb's going to go, but sadly he can't. So mm -hmm. one point. Okay. All right. Now it's yep. Kelly's turn again. Um, yeah, Cthulhu is not in Black Rock or Rockport. No. <laughs> so, costumes. I'm going to summon. And these guys, the cost is one. But I need to spend one more. So, it's going to be two, right? Yeah. Okay. So, just one guy. Here, I think. Okay. Yeah. And you're at, you're both at zero. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. Rinse and repeat. The K marker goes down. Yes. Gather power. Power at three gates. Do you have any cultists not on the board, Caleb? Did you put your lot your cultists that died back on the board somewhere? You did. So you have six points from the cultists. How oh, he was able to do that from his. Um, Supply with that ability. Um, oh, he was okay. That's yeah, from great. your pool. That's yeah. only where you can get those from the pool. Um, so you, that's your six, and then you're gonna get for each gate you have, which is what four of them. Mm -hmm. So you'll gain uh, eight points there. Mm. <laughs> that eight all together. Fourteen. Yep. And then you did not eat anything, and there's no. That's it. Fourteen. Callie, you got yours. Yep. I'm at nine. Nine. Okay, and uh, Doom Phase. So you can spend seven points if you want. And in this case, Caleb, you would get four Doom, and you would also get one of these. Yeah, let's do it. Seven points it is. <laughs> and you're going to move up on the track four points. One, two, two three, three, four. four. And you'll get another one of these. And you can spend these whenever you want to move up on the Doom track or to save at the end of the game. Oh. Can and I look bonus, at them? Yeah, they're bonus points for mm -hmm. you. All right. Uh, Callie, would you like to spend seven points? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I only have nine. <laughs> All right. Uh, Caleb, would you like to go first or second? First. Okay. Caleb begins. Rinse and repeat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I get this now. So I can summon a monster for three to put it over at sure. this gate. One, two, three... All right, Callie, you're up. Okay. I'm going to summon these dark ones. Okay. I summon two of them with my ability, and they'll cost two each, so four. And what's cool is you can win by combat, by area control, um, gathering these Elder Sign tokens. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a large variety of ways to win. All right, Caleb, it's back to you. Yep. Okay. What is this? Those are those little uh, A deep, deep ones. One. They're just one combat for one. 
basically an acolyte with a attack. One attack, yeah. And Cthulhu moves the same way, one space. Just like yep. everybody else. Uh, although you do have a power, you have submerge. So for the cost of one, if Cthulhu is in an ocean or a sea area, you can remove him from the map and place him on your faction card, along with any or all of your units in the area. And then later, at a zero cost action, you can redeploy him, putting him anywhere into any territory, along with all the units. Mm. So you can say, what? No, not this one. You can take these two and make them disappear, basically, and then you can reemerge them anywhere on the board. That's what that ability is. For for one, one. point. Okay, let's do that. So would you like to take just Cthulhu, or would you like to take Cthulhu and your um, Shogoth? Yeah, let's take them both. Okay, you're leaving yourself open, though. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you want to, because you can always redeploy him here if you need to. But So for a zero-cost action on your next turn, you can redeploy him, basically. All right. See, Cthulhu submerged, which is always fun. Ooh, I love that. Where is Cthulhu going to pop up? <laughs> okay. And what's your Cthulhu's power? Six. Straight up six. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Ah, I wanted to move this turn. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I still gotta. I can do it. Okay. We're gonna. He can, where can he appear? Any area? Anywhere. Anywhere. As long as he submerges in a sea, like I said. Okay. If he's in an ocean or a sea area, hmm. remove him and place him on your faction along with any characters. And then later as a zero cost action, you can place Cthulhu plus all accompanying units into any area. Okay. And I can still devour too. When you do it, when you enter combat. It says pre-battle. Right. So when you, when you do, when you choose to battle... Before you roll dice, that's pre-battle, and that's when you'll eat somebody's unit. Okay. I'm going to move these two guys. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah. Move one, two, and then three. Two, three. Okay, I'm at two. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take down somebody else's... Um monster like their their big one you can try in what way with the battling yeah like battling yeah if you literally if you have two cultists and you fight against cthulhu and you happen to roll a six you kill cthulhu mm -hmm. it's re yeah the problem is very simple simple but just bigger monsters equals more dice more possibilities for sixes but i mean if i moved cthulhu over here where cowley spawned I moved into his area. Oh, can you eat? Can can hers be taken down during battle, not pre-battle? Um, oh, during battle, yes. So, yeah, but this is because this isn't a monster. This is the. Oh, this is an old one, but you can eat this one. So you're gonna want to redeploy your character here, I think. Your yeah. Old one. It's your turn, right? Mm -hmm. Although if you don't, she's going to nom on your stuff. Yeah. Oh, re place back on. <laughs> oh, are you, are you placing them on the island here, away from her monsters, or on the area to fight her monsters? To fight her. Okay, then you have to go on the same space. So this is all one space here. All right, so she he's redeployed. Okay. You got you got to make him use a two actions, and uh, that was a good thing, right? What you did. If, um, if that's what you intended to do in the, the first yeah. place, because you sucked the power away from him. Yeah, um, but he's still going to gain more power than me next turn. Unless you can win the combat. Yeah. But when is the pre-battle? <laughs> it's a lot. The, like I said, the pre-battle is pre-battle. So <laughs> she chooses battle. Oh. Before you roll dice, you do the pre-battle. 
Then you roll the dice, which is battling, and then you do post-battle stuff. Mm -hmm. So if she chooses to battle, she's going to lose this unit outright. Outright. He will eat you, yes. Cthulhu says that the enemy player chooses and eliminates one of his or her monsters or cultists in the battle. Okay. So you might want... Bringing in a cultist is kind of useful for you or... If there's a way um, to get if there's a way to get your units like to fly in here, I think I I, I'm pretty sure you have something like that. But oh, let's you um, summon units to get eaten. No, that's eliminating things. There's I don't think I have that yet. You didn't choose it. No. Yeah, Cthulhu eats monsters. So you want to have that's a way to why. feed him. Okay. Well, I was like, why? Because they have zero combat. Like, why do I want them in the area? Because yeah, they can get yeah, eaten. Yeah. Okay. Do, am um, I controlling three gates in ocean sea areas? One, one two, two, three. three. You yeah. are. Choose a new one, yeah. <laughs> mm, I don't like that, but if I move, then I can't battle again. Yeah. Only if I move if you one win, unit. If you win, you'll get ten uh, points. Oh, this is a good I have one. more dice. Even without your character, your main character? Yeah. I have, he has, he'll have nine dice. This one that I picked said, after any player's action, you may replace any number of your occult cultists, acolyte cultists on the map with the same number of deep ones from your pool. Yeah, so if she chooses okay. to battle, you can sacrifice your, cult, occult, your acolytes to put deep ones into play. Um... Okay. Yeah, that's battle. Okay, so she's choosing to battle. Um, so devour happens. The enemy player chooses and eliminates one of your mon monsters or acolytes. So you're gonna lose this one here. He's just gonna eat it. Wait. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. How much? What did that cost? Two. Two. Okay, and then battle happens. Um, you also, she took, took an action. Did you want to turn any acolytes into deep ones? Yes. How many? You have three total. Three of them. All three? Yeah. You're going to lose your gate then. Oh, you lose the gate? Mm -hmm. Well, you, you don't have any, you have to have an have acolyte, have an on, acolyte the, on the gate. To be um, this is a wizard, he needs his gate. Monsters are just useful. No, to let's not do that yet. How many do you want? You can, you can get rid of up to two then, if you'd like. Two, yeah. Two? These will disappear, and you'll get these guys. So now you got a whole bunch of these guys. So you got a Shogoth, you got Cthulhu, two deep ones. So add up all your powers. She, he's six. Mm -hmm. Your Shogoth is two. And then your deep Ooh. ones are one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't matter, though, Kelly. Yeah. Because you guys like to die. Six. Yeah. But six. if you can get a bunch of sixes, you can do a lot of damage to yeah. them. So how many dice is that? Let's... Nine or ten. Ten. Okay, ten. so I only have eight over here. There you go. Thank you. I'm try and roll them over here so they can see them. There we go. No. No <gasps> sixes. I got three sixes. That's so three funny. Three fives <laughs> and a four. Okay, so he's got wow. four of these. Four pain coming to you, though. Oh, three sixes. Yes. So you're going to need to lose three characters, Caleb. Okay. Probably maybe these ones, mm -hmm. maybe the Acolyte. I don't know. It depends. You can always resummon it. or Because this one's going to cost more. The Shogoth costs two. Acolyte's only cost one. But you're definitely going to lose the deep ones. And Cal, you're going to gain one point for each of them. One. Okay. For each of them. Yep. And then, so do you want to get rid of your Acolyte? Or your Shogoth. I think this can go. This is going to give you no dice, and you can always summon a new one for one if you still control the area. Okay. So this will go back, and you're going to go up one more point, Callie. Mm hmm And now pain. So how many pain did you give him? Four. Wow. So that means all your units have to run. <laughs> Where do you want them to go? You can go to any adjacent space. I'm going to go on this space here, or this one here. This one. Okay. 
And then Kelly, you have a bunch of pain coming to your your way as well. So okay. you have to retreat. Yes. I'll go. Can it, it has to be with my stuff on yeah, it? Yeah, it can't be to an enemy. Yeah. You're not going to be able to like move in to attack another enemy. <laughs> so you can go to rock, you can go to rock I court. could, there's no one here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay, now it's her attack. So now it's your turn. Mm-hmm. That was a great roll for you, Callie. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Devastating. <laughs> yeah. I, I did not see that going that way. Uh. He rolled <laughs> ten dice and got no sixes. That was terrible. <laughs> maybe I need now to. Your turn. Maybe I need to do the Alicia roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got three power now. What do you want to do? Yeah. Um. So, I can, can I, no, I can't do that, can I? Do what? Can mm. I bring one of these back over yep, to that gate? Not to that gate, but you can bring it to any location that you have a unit. That you have a unit on. So you can put one over here and then move it over here. Or one over here and put it over here if you wanted. Just put it on that area there. And that costs you one. That's what I meant. If you were to kill her unit, then you could have just put one more there. But I'm going to recruit as well. Oh, wow, both going for them. I have zero energy <laughs> left. Or power left. All right, Caleb. So I can move mine on there now? Yeah. One. You can move You can move all that on there, yep. And you have one extra <laughs> left over, which you should use to move as well, because you're not going to get to use it next turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can move one more unit over in that area if you wanted. At least a monster to protect it. Yeah. If not Cthulhu himself. So I can spend one to move Cthulhu yes. over there? Yes. Does it have to be right here? It can be, no, it's this, it's this whole area. It doesn't matter okay. as long as they're in this area. So these guys over here on the island. This guy here is on this whole track here. And then you got some guy, a guy over there with a cultist. Okay. Yep. You're both out. Now, gather power. Right. So you have two less he cultists. Has, he got the gate again. <laughs> so you're going to get four, four power per cultists. Then you're going to get eight points power. for your gates. So 12. And there are no uncontrolled gates. And there's nobody who ate any, any cultists. So that's it for you. Callie, what are you at? I'm at 10. And you're at? 12. Okay. So you once again will determine if you're first or second. First. Okay. And now you'll determine, do you want to spend the ritual, the ritual of annihilation? It'll give you four <laughs> points and another sign. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Do what you want. It pushes the game closer to ending, and it also gives you victory points. These are all secret points that you have. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Go ahead and spend seven. This pushes us here. Now you're going to gain four points. And you're going to gain one more of these guys here. Take your pick. Callie, you can choose to spend eight if you'd like. No, thank you. <laughs> okay. And, Caleb, you will begin. Start with the action phase. Mm -hmm. All right, make a choice, though. Yep. Got to do something. How do I get over here again? Get, get over where? There. Over here where Callie's at. Where I am, you just move there. For one... Yeah, are you only moving that guy? You can move. So it costs two to move this. Yeah. Okay. One, two. Okay, Callie can be dirty now. Mm hmm. What can you do? Go into his area. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move. Two. All right, over here. My little acolyte. She just kind of, you moved in here for the attack, and then she said nope, and she went over to your area, mm -hmm. and she wants to threaten your cultist there for a good time. Now, the, the, the dangerous thing is you have less power. Yeah. So if you move all your units into here, she could just move over here and eat your acolyte. And uh, if you don't do anything, she's going to get both of them. So one thing you could do to move, you could move one guy into here and your 
go through the window there, I guess, to protect the spaces again, but that will cost you another two action points, which should have sucked up four from you. It's not a bad idea at this point. Probably, you do not want her to eat your cultists up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> yeah, that might be the play. Okay. You can even, if you want, move an additional unit into here. Or after she takes her turn, I can... No, because I don't have any... No, we won't do that. I mean, if you put... if Yeah, it just depends on how she wants to do it. So you don't want to move this guy in here, then? Well, that would cost an additional action. Yes, yeah, so you want to save that just in case? All right, Callie, you're up. <laughs> All right. Um... All the, the monsters <laughs> on their sides, the camera doesn't even oh. see them. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where are all the monsters? <laughs> Let's attack right here. All right, the final battle. Okay, I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for this guy and one for that guy. Nine okay. for this guy? Uh huh. And one for this? That's uh -huh. ten? Wow. All right, Caleb, you've got a star spawn. <laughs> three dice. But if you roll two sixes, yeah, it doesn't you can, matter. You uh -huh. can still win. You can still do a lot. No sixes. <laughs> two sixes. Okay, so he's got two uh, two pain on you, and his guys will die. You're going to generate yourself three, four points, Kelly. Okay. All right. And, and you can place this guy in here for free. Yes. And I don't have to move? I didn't get any. Okay. You have to move what? He didn't get oh, any. Oh, yeah, pain. yeah, two pain. Two pain. Oh, okay. So I do have to move. Oh, yeah, sorry. Then Never he's mind. Move. <laughs> he has to move. Uh, we'll go right here. Oh, okay. All right, Caleb, it's up to you now. We got one energy left. Oh, sorry, that was I, I attacked for two of my. That's one or two? Two. One to attack. Okay. It tells you on your little thing. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it's with each character. No, no. Yeah. It's collectively. Yeah. All right. I don't know what to do right here. <laughs> You're out of energy. She's going to be able to nom on you a bit here. You can place a unit down, a cultist if you want, for power for next turn. She's probably going to get this area. I don't know what you can do to stop her. If you move this character here, she's just going to go to the other one and take that one, and you're going to lose even more points. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is to get probably a cultist out. Just recruit. Just recruit a cultist, yeah, to get power for next time. Because she's got too much energy. You want to you want to empty yourself now, so she'll have to start paying more. So where do I put this at? I put it anywhere with a character. Put it next to Cthulhu, maybe. That way, in case she tries to kill him, this is fodder for him. Um, what we probably should have done, too, is when moving Cthulhu, we should not have moved him here. We should have moved him to an, um, mm -hmm. a water, so you could have taken him off. Uh, so when she places, yeah. then you drop down and say, what's up? <laughs> All right, That's he's out. Move. All right, I'm going to move one. Uh-huh. Mm. Any more units? Mm -hmm. Two. And let's go. Three. Okay. And then let's go a little bit. All right, now things cost one more for me. Good, make it expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Oh, she's coming to claim your area too. You just dropped a guy there. Um, and one, two, three, for four. Wow. I cost one with my spell book. Hmm. All right, that's it. Oh, you're empty. 
Yes. Okay, then you go to gathering power. All right. Four. So you have uh, four, four cultists, cultists, so you give yourself four points. And you have th three control locations. So that's mm -hmm. six more, putting you at ten. And there's no extras, no devoured characters. Okay. Callie, how many do you have? Twelve. And Caleb, you have? Ten. Callie now has options yes, for first fine, place. Lily. <laughs> Would you like to spend eight to oh. push this track along? You'll score one point for each one of these guys you have and an elder sign, which can give you up to three more points. Let's do it. Oof, all right, pushing this I up know, eight points. And you're going to give yourself four on the track there. I need to catch up. All right, here you go. This one's a good one. Hopefully. You lied. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Caleb, would you like to spend uh, eight to go up um, to get one, two, three points in an elder sign? Um, might no. Not be, might not be a bad idea because... You have more of these than her. And she's only up uh, by three I points on you. Yeah. I don't know, because yeah. this will also end the game sooner. If you feel like yeah. your, 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 your position is threatened on the board here, making the game end might be good for you. I don't know. I don't know the answer. But I'm just giving you options, like wh why it might be good. Mm. But you might want the energy like she did last turn so you can do things, add stuff to the board. Oh, let's see. But yeah, I mean, I mean, getting... Three points plus getting four to seven points is a powerful. Thirty to end the game. Hmm. But is it more powerful? Can you get more by using it on the board? She's definitely out positioned on the board though. So maybe not spending might be a good idea. Maybe saving it might help you. Because then you can start putting your guys back out, protecting mm -hmm. Cthulhu. What do you want to do? Pass. Okay. Kelly, you're up first. All right. I have only four energy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Uh, I think I'll do this Groth action. It costs two. I will roll a die. And if the roll is less than or equal to the number of areas containing fungi, your enemy must eliminate cultists equal to the die roll. Um, so if my roll is greater, then I'll place one Acolyte from either faction's pool anywhere on the map. So I have four... Um, I have three areas containing fungi. Oh, I thought I had four. But two of them are in the same area. So. And no. Okay. If your roll is greater than the number of areas, place one Acolyte from either faction's pool anywhere on the map. Does that mean both? I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be bad. <laughs> or is it just if I don't have any, I would have to place from his? Yeah, you place from his, I think. You missed the roll. Either? Because it says either. Yeah, either. So I could either. choose mine. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so if you don't have any, you have to choose his. Oh, there his. we go. That's the negative. Okay. So I placed one here. Okay. I have two power left. Caleb's turn. Get some guys on the board. Defend Mother Russia. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Where are you going? Way over here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Your turn, Callie. All right. I have two. Hmm. You can always submerge Cthulhu in all of his units when you need to. Because they can always go anywhere on the board for free. It's a powerful ability. Especially if she leaves a space open for you to attack. Um, I'm going to move these guys, I guess. Into Cthulhu's space? Maybe. Should I? I don't know. <laughs> I know. I can't get... Win. I want to go there, but I. it's two spaces. Yeah. Um, you can win with your guy. Okay. Taking his two out for your one is going and to give you a lot of points. there to help me. Because he's going to get consumed if he attacks. Exactly. Okay. No, he won't get consumed. He only kills monsters oh, and, and acolytes. 
He'll so get actually, killed right at the he beginning. He will, so you yeah. might not want to move him in there. Okay. He doesn't, you know, Cthulhu can't eat other Elder Gods. Yeah. Okay. You can just move your, your dude in there. But remember, if you do that, he might move. Yeah, I mean, somewhere I don't else. he would. I'm just going to go keep protecting this cave here. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> Making a mess. Okay, that's it. I'm out. Sorry, this is Okay. <laughs> wow, a lot of guys there. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? If you like this game, I have the four-player big boy version. Yeah. So Cthulhu's in water right now? Yes. With miniatures. And so you can still summon more units. And Callie can't move. No, she's no, done. She I'm, can done. Do I'm out of power. Um, so then what I will do, remove him from... You're going to submerge? Yeah. All right. This guy as well, or you want to leave him? I'll leave him to protect the gate. Okay. All right. And uh, Callie's turn. She does nothing. This moves up. And that was free? Or... No, it costs, it costs you one. Did yeah. you spend one? Perfect. Thanks. Now it's your turn again. As, as a zero cost, he's going to pop up over here. Okay, and it's going to cost you one, though. Mm -hmm. Because of the, of the decay. Yep. Yeah. Now it's Callie's turn, which will move to two here. Okay. Now you can just straight up simply eat that cult. Yeah, I'm going to eat him. Okay, so that's going to be devoured. Caleb's going to gain a point. And that is going to cost you three. And then this is going to go up to three, in which case you have no more power left, so mm -hmm. you'll drop to zero. Because you can't afford to do anything with two when yeah. the cost is at least three. Okay, and this will go back down here. You manage to get you take two mm -hmm. points away from yeah, her and give yourself power. one. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, victory, uh, victory, victory. Uh, Power phase. Four acolytes. So and you have three four, gates. so give yourself four points for your acolytes. And you control three gates, which is going to give you six more points, putting you at ten. And then you get plus one for an undefended gate. Oh, yeah. And so will Callie. Mm -hmm. And you have 11 points, Callie? Yes. So does Alone. he. <laughs> Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first. Okay. Would you like to spend nine or eight to get uh, another Annihilation bonus? No. Ooh, really? Wait, okay. it's the first player who picks? I thought it was Cthulhu who picked. No. No, it's based on whoever has the most power. Oh. Yeah. You just happen to always have the most power. Mm -hmm. Cthulhu gets to go first at the beginning of the game, though. So would you like to spend eight to move up on the track? It's no. going to give you oh, one, two, points, huh? three points and uh, another one of these guys. I, but then I only have three. I know. Mm. You do have more board presence than him right now. But he's all the way over here. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. I'll go down to three. This will move up. You're going to gain three points. And then you're going to get another one of these guys. Which okay. one do you want? So I don't have to do that. <laughs> I don't get in trouble. All right. Okay. Caleb, would you like to spend nine to get one, two, three points and one of these guys? How much does it cost to attack? It's going to cost you. just one. costs one to attack. Um, Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's well. move it up. Nine points from Caleb. And you're going to get one, two, three points, please. 17, 18, 19. It's from 16 oh, to 17, 18, 19. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get one of these guys here. Throw All right. In. If this, if you trigger this last one, the game is going to end okay, instant, one more. instant death. But there's still a round left. And Callie, you were the first player, so yes. you get to start. All right. We are moving. We are... Right back. Going to go these two guys. We'll go right here. Yes. Two. Not one left. 
Um, Cthulhu is going to submerge for one. You're not submerged. Oh, because I'm the not water. in the water. So how do I get in the water from over? You have to move. Hmm. Well, I'll just attack your guy over here then. Okay. He's a ghost. Yeah, he's got nothing. So, roll. <laughs> Sticks. You kill him. <laughs> okay, and he costs a one. Is that my turn? Mm-hmm. Attack! <laughs> okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I eight, nine. I attacked one of her monsters. Did you kill nine. it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I rolled two sixes finally. <laughs> did she roll anything? She's rolling right no, now. No, there was nothing to roll for that. It was a zero. Oh. Um, I'm attacking here. Okay. Uh, Caleb, you're going to get three dice, though. I'll get one more. I have 11. You need to get two sixes, Caleb. Two. No sixes. Again? Uh, quite a bit of pain. <laughs> None for you either. I got one. A one. And a bunch of pain. Three so, pain. you probably want to lose the cultist, Caleb. We'll give her one okay. point. And then you're gonna, you can move this guy one space. Probably in the middle here. Yeah. And your other cultist has to move, too. Oh, he has two cultists. Mm -hmm. Okay, you just move this guy over here. Mm -hmm. And then you've got pain coming to you too, Cal. you got three of them. All right. I don't mind How many dice did you roll, by the way? Three. Yeah, okay. And these were all what you rolled? A bunch of fours? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going right here. Okay. Oh, wait. He can go here. Because it's connected. Yeah. Okay. You have one point left, Caleb? Right? Mm hmm. You can move your cultists back in. <laughs> back in. No! <laughs> that way I'll get you your power back. And you go to zero. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we're going to go through the same thing gathering power. You're going to get three power, Caleb. You control three gates. Mm -hmm. So that's nine more points, I think, or two, no, six more points. And there's one open. And then gate. one open, so you go to ten. I have 11. You have 11. All right. Uh, then you will determine first player, which is uh, Callie. Would you like to go first or would you like to go second? First. Do you want to spend the 10? Yes. <laughs> otherwise, he probably would. Well, we, yeah, I figured. Okay, now I need the rules. This one here. I'm yep. going to check to make sure. I've never, the it's not game. a thing that usually happens all that often. Well, we did it. <laughs> We're dangerous like that. Doing right. the ritual of annihilation. <laughs> All right. Where are you? End of game rules. Uh, okay, when either 30, uh, somebody reaches 30 or more doom or when the ritual of annihilation track reaches instant death. So I still need to do the ritual, right? And get points. It, so the game can also end during the doom phase when the ritual of annihilation marker reaches the instant death space. If one player has not had a chance to perform a ritual of annihilation, they may still do so. Oh, okay, so you can still spend 10, Caleb. Let's do it. <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't have enough because I would have taken his gate away. <laughs> so you're going to get three points, Caleb. And so will I. One, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, and then you'll get one of these. Three, and, and then you'll get one as well. Yeah. Okay, and these are going to go away. And so what happens now is we're going to calculate points. And I'll go ahead and move the camera over. <laughs> I feel like I could get points for having more <laughs> things out on the board. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll move these guys over so that you guys can see. I mean, you only have two more monsters points. than I did. Okay, so we have a 23 and 25 points right now. 
And uh, right. all we have left is these these markers here to reveal. Yep. So we'll reveal um, Caleb's first, and then we'll go with Callie. We'll go back and forth. Okay. Three, three points. One, two, and three. Callie? A one. Tied. Caleb? Oh. Three again. <laughs> All right. A one. <laughs> Caleb, a two. One, and then move it back to the one track here. Thirty-one. Yep. A one. Oh no. <laughs> a a two. two. And a two. I got exactly thirty. Caleb's got more. Oh. One. <laughs> and one. So I don't even think that this would have mattered, actually. He would have got three points, uh -uh. one, two, and three. And then what did you get, a one or a two or a three at uh, the very end? I picked a two at the end. So you would have had exactly, it would have been tied. If you hadn't been able to do the ritual. Yeah, you oh. almost had it. <laughs> very close. Good job, Caleb. <laughs> Congratulations. So close. All right, well, what did you guys think of Cthulhu Wars Duel? Yeah, it's uh, I liked it. It's a, just a head-to-head, -head, two-player game. I think if you're looking for that type of risk with a little, with a lot more um, to it, that this is fun. And of course, it's fun saying the the fun names like acolytes <laughs> and the ritual of annihilation and and yeah. getting into it and all the locations like Arkham, all of the sort of story and world behind Cthulhu is really fun to explore. I thought. Um, it was fun to be able to spawn in different areas and then mm -hmm. attack the different monsters. Uh, movement didn't quite make sense to me until the very end. Then I started to understand it. Um, but it was it was fun. I also liked pu pushing the Annihilation Tracker up. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think that that's a good tool to use when you know that all these monsters are coming after your area yeah. then you can take the other opponent down faster and you were pushing it along more <laughs> the whole game you got more points from that and the higher number point yeah because i may have lost like money yeah. at the beginning yeah but power it, it gave me guaranteed uh -huh. victory points at the end <laughs> yeah uh and so this is cthulhu wars duel and there's also cthulhu wars the original which um and there's extinction the which is another game that attaches to this yes yeah, so then you could switch out with some of the old uh your characters the great old ones and play different ones against each other as well all right uh that's all no nothing in the comments michael wanna share or Man, shout out gary enjoys watching cthulhu wars oh, of course sure. hi gary <laughs> thanks for watching yeah. i know you have all the cthulhu wars stuff <laughs> i remember <laughs> Most people just were, be were begging on you to win. I know, I know. Sorry, I let you down. And uh, yeah, tell them to not forget the giveaways. Oh yeah, so if you haven't yet, check out the website, unfilteredgamer.com. We got two fun giveaways going on there. One for mermaid dice to celebrate Moonshell, of course, from Gatekeeper Games. And one, Trekking the World. So you can get a new copy of that game sent to you. So two separate giveaways bunch of ways you can enter to win on the website on the giveaway page uh any last words caleb any shout outs just say hi <laughs> nope no shout outs <laughs> thanks for playing uh so thank you guys for watching and as always we look forward to seeing see you guys, guys next time, time.